today is officially one to celebrate here in Toronto. Two years after Ontario shut things down with a state of emergency, we're now back to St. Patrick's Day being celebrated here at Brazenhead Irish Pub in Liberty Village. Everything else was shut down as well. Now people, as you can see, eating some great food, drinking some beer, raising a glass like it feels like normal. It's a party every day in an Irish bar, but today just tops it. It's just, you, you can't describe it. The further away you get from home, from Ireland, the bigger the party seems to be. The Irish pubs are packed again, people wearing green, pouring some pints, celebrating St. Paddy's Day as though it hadn't been cancelled two years in a row. What a long wait. Shocking to be closed down on March the 16th. It, it's, it could have been the end of the world, you know, an Irish bar and all bars closing on that day and for it to be two years later now is just, it's surreal in some respects. COVID has taken its toll on small bars and restaurants. Some have even had to close, including the infamous Irish Embassy on Young Street downtown, at least temporarily. The staff at Stout Irish Pub in Cabbage Town had their own party in 2020 to eat and drink everything that had already been ordered, but are happy to have customers back for a glass of green beer. This means that we're back. I think that people are so eager to get out and socialize and party in a group environment. I think after the last lockdown, everybody is done. They're over it. We're over it. We're back. We're ready. Shutdowns and health restrictions have now made way for social gatherings inside and out. Spring weather on a patio just makes St. Patrick's Day feel like a whole new beginning for some. It's a holiday that's based around having a good time and being with your family. So, uh, it, you know, there's no commercial around it and come out and have a few drinks and have a great time. It's amazing. Um, love being out, love being out with my friends and family. It's just a good time. For businesses that held on throughout the pandemic, Live music, party favors, and discounts inside have replaced takeout only. Not just to celebrate the luck of the Irish, but being able to survive through all that has happened. We're closed for 18 months, so it's just great to be back working and making money again, and great to have Paddy's Day back. You know, it's great for the city, it's great for everyone. Good food, good drinks, as you can see. The party will be celebrated throughout the entire weekend, including St. Patrick's Day. This Sunday, the parade will be meandering its way through the streets of downtown Toronto, starting at noon, ending up at Nathan Phillips Square, where there is a planned celebration.